The Las Vegas Convention Center is packed one week a year as more than 160,000 gather for the world's largest aftermarket and car customization trade show. It's the Special Equipment Market Association, event of the year, better known as the SEMA Show. And anything that can be added, customized, or created with a car or truck is right here at SEMA. So sit back, buckle up, and hang on as Fox Sports takes you on a wild ride around this year's SEMA Show, presented by NADA Guide. Fox Sports coverage of The SEMA Show, presented by NADA Guides, transforming the auto buying experience. Welcome to SEMA. Hello, everybody. I'm Tor Dietrich. Well, last year, SEMA celebrated its 50th anniversary. What about the next 50 years? Well, this year, it's all about the future for the automotive aftermarket as this $41 billion industry evolves with cool technology and stuff for your car and truck. So what are the hot trends? Well, over the next hour, we'll give you a glimpse of where this industry is moving with our Fox Sports Auto Show team. Nick Miles and Mike Caudill, who have scoured the more than 56 miles of carpet in the endless convention halls and exhibits here. And there's no better place to start than in the performance category. Mike? Thanks, Tor. Yeah, there's no company more associated with SEMA and 50 years here at the show than this company right here. We're in the Edelbrock booth. Hard to believe that back at Dodger Stadium 50 years ago, this company really was one of the founding fathers, if you will, of the SEMA show. Now, of course, it's been an emotional year for the Edelbrock team with the passing of Vic Edelbrock himself, but the show must go on. There's great products here in the booth, and there's a lot to be talked about. With me today is Eric Blakely. Tell me what's going on for you guys here at SEMA this year. This year at SEMA, we got three kind of like top line great new products. First one being our AVS2 carburetor, which has a new angler booster. It makes for better drivability on that bottom end. Any carburetor, typically you, get, you can get flat spots, you can get hesitations on that low RPM. Now that's all gone. We're hearing guys saying it drives almost as good as EFI. So it's a really exciting product for us. Secondly, we've got three new crate motors that make over 800 horsepower. We got some for the Chevy guy, some for the Mopar guy, and some for the Ford guy wanting to put a coyote in his car. You're talking late model muscle, now available in a crate for a guy to put into his early muscle car. And then finally, we got just a great new selection of cylinder heads. And again, those are late model cylinder heads. So these are cylinder heads for newer vehicles or guys swapping newer engines into older vehicles. They're just high performance, fully CNC ported heads that will give you the maximum power. Tell me what the Edelbrock name means for the consumer in the marketplace. Quality, it's guaranteed performance. You know, that's something that Vic and his dad always kind of instilled in us as employees is really to make the best products we can and to deliver what they say they're going to do. Thanks, Eric. Look, whether you want to put a crate motor in your vehicle or install exhaust or some type of suspension, it's ultimately up to you as the consumer how you want to customize your own vehicle. I'm at the Toyota booth where they have five cameras on display, four of them designed by NASCAR drivers. This is big blurple because it's a mixture between blue and purple. Those special project cameras got lots of attention at this year's show. Top NASCAR drivers Daniel Suarez, Kyle Busch, Martin Truex Jr. and Denny Hamlin brought their own spin to the all-new 2018 Camry. Each driver created a Camry that further elevates the all-new model design and performance and puts their own spin on the car. And outside Toyota have every Camry on display, right from the very first one in 1983 to the latest version. Martin Truex Jr. went with an all-black theme with special 20-inch American Custom all-black wheels. Kyle Busch teamed up with G Fabrications to push the wild side. He has branded his black car with custom aluminum badging. Hamlin's Camry features a wide body conversion with three inch fender flares that were adapted to all corners, enabling the team to run big 20 inch wheels underneath. And Daniel Suarez teamed up with the Motorsports Technical Center to bring his version of the ultimate street friendly yet track ready Camry to life. For 2017 at the SEMA show, Toyota is bringing the theme, the power of new. The power of new to us this year is represented by two key models. The all new 2018 Camry, which of course has been reimagined as the sportiest Camry ever to date, as well as the first ever 2018 Toyota CHR. The CHR is entirely new to the Toyota lineup, bringing in a new younger buyer to the company. Toyota had a cool CHR at the show that I got to play with. It had an electric drum kit hidden around the car. 
Now this is the Toyota CHR Beatbox. It's been around at music festivals all over the country and it has a built-in beatbox inside. By touching interior parts of the car, you can play a whole drum kit. The real meat for the CHR was in the CHR R-tuned car. 600 horsepower. Toyota paired up with DG Spec to build the CHR R-Tune. It features a 2.4 litre engine with a custom DG Spec Garrett Turbo system. This is linked to a 5-speed E-Series manual transmission, replacing the stock CVT. Brembo racing brakes, Toyo race tyres, motorsports dampers, and functional aerodynamics that produce 300 pounds of downforce at speed. This car is able to accelerate from 0 to 60 miles an hour in just 2.9 seconds. This car is faster at Willow Springs than a 911 GT3, a Nismo GTR, a McLaren 650 Spider, and the list goes on and on and on. Here's a fact that'll blow your mind. If you go to fastestlaps.com, there are only five cars above this car in the rankings. Well, Ford always has a major presence here at SEMA, but this year it's not just about the cool cars. It's about this, their new electronic handbrake. Here to tell us more about it is John Wicks. John? What we have is a digitally driven electronic handbrake, which you can use for rally, autocross, pooning, J-turns, closed course, track use only. Is this so those guys who watch those Jim Conn and Ken Block flicks can do this in their car? Absolutely. Closed course, racetrack. And what's the difference between this and what they have already so they know? What they have already is a hydraulic handbrake. It requires a hole in the floor, master cylinder, brake fluid, extra set of calipers, and it'll work all the time. Our electronic handbrake is very different. It's mode specific, ESC off specific, and works in a dedicated speed range. Tell me about the installation. How does it work for the enthusiast here? Installation is very easy. We believe most people can do it themselves. You need an Allen wrench, a screwdriver, and a couple of zip ties. Okay, this is an add-on option for the product? Yep, available through Ford Performance Parts as an aftermarket accessory. Well, thanks, John. We'll have more from SEMA coming up. Off-road performance, wheels of desire, and we show you some extreme customizing. It's all coming to you as Fox Sports brings you the SEMA Show, presented by NADA Guides. You're watching SEMA on Fox Sports. You're watching SEMA on Fox Sports. Welcome back to Fox Sports coverage of the SEMA Show. Well, last year, Mopar introduced two new crate engines. This year, they've taken this 1970 Plymouth Roadrunner Superbird and outfitted it with their latest crate, the Hell Crate. The Hell Crate, 707 horsepower, 650 foot-pounds of torque, and now you can have that in any vehicle that you choose, pre-1976. What it does for us, it, it's the pinnacle, right? No other OE can say they've got that in a turnkey crate engine package. Now, if you're going to talk about off-roading, you got to start right here at Jeep. This is the original 1944 Jeep Willys MB. It was a government-issued vehicle, and it's the DNA found in the Jeeps of today. But for today's Jeep buyers, it's all about customization, as Jeep is the most customized brand. Well, you know, this customer is very unique because when they're buying a vehicle, they're really buying a canvas. It's almost like art. And they're going to take every part that comes off this vehicle, they're going to customize it, personalize it, because it becomes an extension of them, their personality. That's where we come into play. You know, we offer a host of product that we make available to these consumers, and it could be something as simple as a, a slush mat or something a little more complicated for the enthusiast, like a lift kit. When you're buying something in the aftermarket, we don't know how and what it's constructed of, how it's being installed, but when we do sell your product that we've made, we know exactly how that goes into the vehicle and you're not going to avoid any of the warranty of the vehicle. Now with more on trucks and SUVs, here's Mike. Thanks, Tor. Well, the single largest growing segment in the auto industry right now continues to be the automotive off-road market. Now, what was once thought of as just spraying bed liners, wheels, and tires has now evolved into something even greater. I'm in the Lionx booth, and this is their all-new body armor. It's a very thin spray-on exterior for this vehicle so that when you're out off-roading in the brush, your vehicle is going to stay protected. 
you don't have to worry about scratching paint anymore. They've also come up with their own completely designed front end of this vehicle. It's called Truck Gear by Linex. So the company that was doing spray and bed liners is now offering front and rear bumpers, not to mention a host of other accessories as well. I had a minute to chat with their president, Dennis Weiss. Here's what he had to say. When we look at doing these type of vehicles for folks, uh, the everyday consumer, they get two things out of it. They get the added durability of the product, and then they also get the aesthetic. We can make this product look fantastic. As you can tell on the Raptor, that's a three color pattern of our new Ultra product that was revealed to the Linex system about 18 months ago. One of the other things that's interesting about Linex is actually this vehicle right here, and this is actually a Polaris Dagger. It's kind of an ultra-train vehicle, but what I learned from Dennis, the president, is that this vehicle actually has a military history and background to it. It's inspired for our combat men and women out there working hard on behalf of our country. Now, the spray on this is both on the exterior and the interior of this vehicle. Now, think about that from a ballistic missile protection standpoint. This material is going to give them a better shot at protection. So on a military vehicle like this, the polyurea also adds anti-fragmentation and anti-spalling component to the vehicle. So not only does it improve the longevity of the vehicle by adding a layer of corrosion protection, it also adds this, uh, this ability to prevent fragmentation. All right, a little history for you here at SEMA. In 1966, a small little car company called Ford Motor Company came out with one of the most iconic vehicles of all time, and it's this one right here. It's the Ford Bronco. They ended production in 1977 with the early version. Now, it only came with two doors. Now, these two brothers right here, the Max Leiter Brothers Custom Guys, they decided to extend the vehicle and chassis on this, giving it four doors. This is a four-door early Bronco. There's no single other four-door Bronco here at the SEMA show. I want to get in and talk to these guys for a minute. What was the inspiration for this, uh, Mr. Eric? Yeah, when Ford announced the, the release of the 2020 Bronco, we wanted to show them what it could look like if it was a throwback design. So we decided to build one. All right, so it's definitely got the show. Tell me about the go. We have a Roush supercharged Coyote engine up front on 37-inch BF Goodrich tires. There's a lot of people who stepped up to this game and helped us get through this Yukon Curry wet sound Atlas transfer case. MJR Industries built the suspension for it. Amazing vehicle. All right, we've made our way outside here at SEMA, and uh, yeah, we're talking off-road, but we are in the Nexon Tire booth, which is known for performance vehicles and performance tires. And uh, this is one of the, the sexiest vehicles, of course, here at SEMA. This is Scott Speed's personal Volkswagen e-Golf, and uh, I wanted to ask Jess what she thought about it. Jess? Such a beautiful car. All right, let's get serious about tires, right? We're in the Nexon booth. They make performance street tires, but here's what we wanted to really show you. This is the all-new Nexon MTX tire. That stands for Mud Terrain Extreme. They're entering the highly competitive off-road market. Paul Joe, head of motorsports, what makes this tire special for Nexon? Well, we developed a tire to make an impact, so we came up with the dual sidewall design. One side is our beast mode, giving that natural claw look, and the other side is a machine look that gives a very traditional look. The tread itself will perform exactly the same. The design is actually meant for the consumers to choose whatever vehicle they put on, put on left side, front and rear, but it's catered to their need. All right, there you go. You got the word right from the man that runs up the motorsports program for uh, Nexon, but uh, we did make our way outside. Nick, uh, I think Nick's outside. Nick, what do you got for me? Now outside at SEMA, the noise can be deafening here in the parking lot, and that's because this is the interactive area where all the car companies show what their machines can do. SEMA is far from aisles of static cars, trucks, and SUV displays. Outside the main halls, you'll find parking lots turned into racetracks, skid pads, and off-road experiences. Here, showgoers get to experience exactly what the professional drivers do. Smoke, speed, heat, and noise. Lots and lots of noise. Now, I'm always going to take the opportunity to do something where I have to wear a helmet. Showgoers get to climb into the cars and experience taking a ride, and many do it multiple times. The choices are endless. At the Ford Racing Area, there's a chance to smoke the tires in this. Or take a high-speed corner in this. Don't forget the all-new Raptor. Its capability has got to be experienced at SEMA this year. We know our customers love to get behind the wheel of our vehicles, and we love to, uh, to take them around on the track here. You'll see some drifting, you'll see some jumping, a lot of fun stuff here at Ford Outfront. It's not just American brands that show off performance at SEMA. BMW took drivers out for an experience in the ultimate driving machine. The amount of smoke this year is amazing, and that smell of burning rubber makes SEMA 
Smell like semen. On display at the show, the fastest ever production BMW, the 2018 M5. And this new BMW has a cool new addition to the company's ever-growing performance part and tech features. So we have our drift, drift session here today, and it's incredible how, how many people come out of there saying, wow, I need to buy myself a BMW. Once you experience what an M car is like, especially with M performance parts, there's really nothing else like it. It's, it's a totally different experience, and I would recommend getting behind the wheel one and, and seeing what it's really like. The outside experiences have changed SEMA from being a trade show to being a trade experience. And it's made a fan out of me. There's nothing like try before you buy. Well, for truck owners, the question always becomes, how do I protect my valuables? Well, that means tonneaus or truck bed covers. And here to tell us more of what our options are is Todd Lindblade from Truck Heroes. Well, one option is the Revolver X4 from Back Industries. It's a hard rolling truck bed cover. It's got a hard substrate with a vinyl overlayment. It's very easy to install, keeps everything secure and dry. Lock it in place, close your tailgate, lock it up, and everything's safe and sound. So, Ty, here we have another option. Yeah, this is from the Flex series from Undercover. It's called the Chroma Flex. It's a painted version of their most popular hard folding truck bed cover. Again, it's a bolt on installation, so it's a no drill installation, very easy to do. Undercover is also debuting their Alpha Flex, a similar cover with a little different look. It's a hard folding truck bed cover, just like the Chroma Flex, but it has a Line X coating to its panels. This is the Trax Rail from Retrax. It's a retractable truck bed cover with aluminum slats, creates a very secure environment in the bed. The cool thing about this is it incorporates a T-slot into each side rail, and that allows you to mount any accessories from bike racks, cargo carriers, perfect for an active lifestyle. The great thing about it is you can carry anything you want in your bed that you need to keep secure, and it doubles your cargo space. Thanks, Todd. And we'll have more from SEMA coming up. We catch up with Brian Deegan and his daughter. We show you the future for SEMA and talk to Jason Engel, who recreates Shelby's with today's tech. As Fox Sports brings you the SEMA Show, presented by NADA Guides, transforming the auto buying experience. You're watching SEMA on Fox Sports. You're watching SEMA on Fox Sports. Welcome back to Fox Sports coverage of the SEMA show. I'm joined by Peter McGilvray from SEMA. Peter, so the show last year was celebrated its 50th. This year, it's all about the future. Last year's show, we really wanted to, to recognize the people that built it. Those early pioneers, those entrepreneurs that took something small and grew it into a very powerful marketplace that created value for themselves and other businesses like them. This year, in our 51st year, we're looking forward. With 500 all new companies at this year's SEMA show, these people are leading the future. Peter, we know that the political movement is pushing things more toward electric. How is that changing things at SEMA? This industry has this unique ability to take whatever technology is coming down the road and not only adapt to it, but really make products for it and make a business proposition out of those new technologies. And I'm confident that there's no better industry to accept these technological curveballs that are being thrown because the fact remains that consumers demand that their vehicles are a reflection of their personality. They demand that their vehicles fit them like a glove and high performance and customization all fit into that. And that's where we live. That is what this industry does. Okay, so let's talk about trends. What are the hot trends at the show this year? <laughs> the hot trends are customization is king. You know, picking one hot trend or trends is kind of like asking me to identify my favorite children. I just can't do that. They're all amazing. Well, we're going to take a look at the future of SEMA right now with Nick. That's right, Tor. It's all about brand new technologies. And some of those technologies are on sale today in the Solar Guard booth. When you have shiny new paint on your car that you have worked so hard to keep beautiful, you want it to stay that way. A San Diego company has the latest generation of technology to protect your paintwork from things like dings, scratches, road debris, 
even hazards like shopping cart and door edges. ClearShield Hydro Pro can go on in minutes, is stain resistant from things like marker pens, and even self heals itself if damaged. Now this is LX window film by SolarGuard, which stops heat coming into the back of your car. SolarGuard are very proud of their product. LX is the most heat rejecting film in the planet. The way the sun's energy works is it has three options. It can transmit through, it can be absorbed by, or it can be rejected away. What LX does that other films don't is it rejects the heat away from your car, so you can have the most comfortable ride possible. In addition to that, it gives over 99% UV protection, protects you and protects the interiors of your vehicle. New and groundbreaking technologies can be found in almost every booth at the show. What about waterproof speakers for your boat, convertible car, or even ATV from Wet Sound? With modern speakers, you don't even have to wire them in. They work via Bluetooth. When it comes to cool new technologies, what about an onboard refrigerator? Now this refrigerator is telling me that it's running at one degree and it's all being powered from this solar panel inside the building. So the only thing giving this solar panel power is the interior lights. The possibilities are endless and camping just became so much more fun. So now we have a refrigerator for inside the vehicle. Now all I need to do is find a coffee machine. All right, of course, you know what the best part about SEMA? A little bit of celebrity sighting. You know what, this is one of the best shows in the market to not just see great cars on carpet, to but see those behind the vehicles that are on the road. Today I've got super special guests. All right, I've got Haley Deegan and I've got Brian Deegan. You guys know Brian, Metal Militia, super motocross guy doing the killer things on bikes out there in the market, but now it's all about the family affair. Tell me about SEMA and what it means to be here with your daughter. Uh, for sure. I've been coming to SEMA for a long time, but before I was coming, you know, with dirt bikes and other things that we're doing, and then once I got into car racing and trucks, I got really heavily involved into off-road, and I love it because it's a dirt scene. All right, so tell me about bringing your daughter into the mix. My life has been so, so wild with, with dirt bikes and getting into trucks, winning championships in truck racing. You know, I've done so many forms of racing, the X Games and all that. I just feel like at this point, I'm happy, I'm content, and I want to focus on what my kids are doing. And, and Haley started racing off-road for fun as at a young age. We just try to keep it as a family sport, you know, with the boys and motocross also. And she just elevated and she started winning races, beating all the best boys. And I thought, man, there's something here. And then she started getting into some circle tracks, stock car, a little pavement, because I felt like that was important to be well-rounded. And then next thing you know, we get a phone call from Toyota, and they're like, hey, we would like to test your daughter. And as a father, I'm like, we got to be patient, take our time, you know, but I see her future super bright. All right, Haley, you're now a celebrity in the making. <laughs> You've got your own race team, but I want to know what it's like to race with dad. Uh, racing with my dad is probably the greatest thing ever. Uh, coming, there's not many kids out there. You see like uh, dads and sons occasionally riding together practicing, but you don't see father and daughters racing together. It's something you just don't see. It's unique. Uh, you see the forces do it in the drag racing, but ours is a unique thing because we're in off-road racing. There's no one else in off-road racing like that. And me making that transfer into stock car racing, my dad raced super late models back in the day, and we all have this thing that's always together. Incredible story, guys. Deegan's here at uh, the SEMA Show 2017, right here in Vegas. Coming up, Mike wears a suit, Nick gets restyled, and I get schooled on wheels. It's all coming to you as Fox Sports brings you the SEMA Show, presented by NADA Guys. You're watching SEMA on Fox Sports. There are 8,000 custom cars, and this one here, it's a beautiful Shelby. It's from Classic Recreations, and here to tell us more about it is the designer and creator, Jason Engel. It's a 1966 Mustang. It started its life, it's an original car. It's a Shelby GT350 CR. It's a 17 model Coyote engine, it's a generation two, five speed transmission, power steering, power brakes, air conditioning, all the modern amenities you would want with a new car. So what you're trying to tell me is you're taking the old style and giving it the new technology and the engineering so it drives great. Is exactly. That, that is exactly what we want to put off to our customers. Pick your color. Here's a great old classic you can drive and enjoy just like a new car. 
It's great to be able to do this and to do what you love. I'm very, very pleased with what's happened here. And they're built in America too. Tell us about that. Yes, uh, built in Yukon, Oklahoma. We design, build, fabricate everything in-house. Paint, bodywork, sheet metal work, any kind of fabrication or assembly happens right at our property in Yukon, Oklahoma. Okay, you mentioned to me earlier that you're working with Mustangs from 1965 to 1968. So that means the cars that you build are smog exempt. That's just brilliant. So now these cars aren't one up. How many do you make and what do they sell for? The 350CR starts at 169,000. The GT500 CR starts at 189,000. We're producing around 31 to 35 cars a year. Jason, thanks so much for telling us about the, Thank the you. CR, Shelby. Beautiful product, wouldn't you say? So I had an interesting question. I've heard this term restyling an awful lot at SEMA. So what is restyling? Well, Kenny Fitzer actually restyles cars. So we asked him. Walking around SEMA, one of the big buzzwords is restyling. So after asking the Fox Sports team, I ended up with lots of different answers. I headed to the guy that knows about car design. Kenny Fitzer took SEMA by storm last year with his restyled GTT. This year, he's back. So Kenny, what is restyling? Restyling is really just taking a vehicle and redesigning the exterior surface along with the interior surface, kind of giving it a whole new design. Kenny got his restyling gene from his rocket scientist dad who worked for NASA. Knowing this, his car restylings are not surprising, but they are becoming fastly iconic in the world of SEMA. Kenny gets his hands dirty with designs right down to the smallest detail of restyling. Now restyling isn't just about how things look, it's also about how they sound and with big exhausts on the back of a car, it can sound completely different. Some vehicles are restyled as rat rods, taking off all the paint and cutting away parts that can be done without. A big percentage are trucks, lifted or lowered, chromed or black and polished to perfection. But not only are the vehicles restyled outside, much of the custom work goes into the interiors. Tenney turned his Tesla interior into a racing red paradise. When we get a chance to restyle anything, you don't want to just change the outside only. You really want to change the whole characteristics of the whole car. We took out the seats, we put Recaro's in. You know, it's just simple things. It's taking the dash, restyling the dash, taking the back seat, restyling the seat by just changing stitching, armrests and something, really changing the whole dynamics of what we have. One of the biggest restyling trends at the 2017 SEMA show is the old classics reborn with new mechanicals and updates to make it modern with a retro elegant feel. Not only do you have finished product to inspire you to build and restyle your new project vehicle at SEMA, but on top of those finished products are aisles and aisles of companies waiting to help you make your dream car come true. From equipment to body parts, from paint to mechanical parts, from tires to technology, and almost everything in between. And if you don't want to build it, you can just buy it. So many beautiful cars on the floor here at SEMA. And the best part is they all have beautiful paint jobs like this. But before you can actually get to the paint process, when building or restyling or designing a car, you have to think about your guys in the shop and protecting them before they get under the hood, before they start painting cars like that one over there. I'm in the Ansel booth, and this company is actually from the healthcare industry. They build big chemical suits, but they've realized that the guys in the auto industry, they need to be protected as well. I had a chance to talk to their president, Joe Kubitschek. Ansel, we're a 100-year-old plus company, and we're in healthcare and also in industrial markets, and our focus is safety. And we're at SEMA because we believe we can bring all of our expertise and knowledge around chemical protection, safety solutions, tailor-made for the automotive market. And we've got a microchem painter's suit that enables a painter to do his or her job in that work environment. We've also got some new hand protection products. We've got a high chem 93260, which is a multi-layered, single-use product that provides the best chemical protection on the thinnest glove in the market. We also have a mechanics reusable product that is for a medium duty that provides very good hand protection as well. The other two dimensions for us as a company when we think of, of our products is not just the barrier protection but also the workers performance, meaning they're going to be able to do their job as good as they can with bare hands and then also the comfort aspect as well because at the end of the day if the product's not comfortable then we find the worker's not going to wear it which then you know ends up in problems for the workers down the road. It's like a working tool for them. It's part of what enables them to do their job and do it safely day in and day out. Coming up, a conversation with racing sensation Tanner Faust and we show you how racing influences 
the products here at the show. All coming to you as Fox Sports brings you the SEMA Show, presented by NADA Guides, transforming the auto buying experience. You're watching SEMA on Fox Sports. You're watching SEMA on Fox Sports. Welcome back to Fox Sports coverage here at SEMA. Joining me now is Eric Grieving to educate us on wheels. Eric, what do we got new here? Uh, plenty of new stuff here from uh, American Racing. Uh, we have right, right here is our new two-piece wheel. So a two-piece wheel itself is made with either a forged or cast center and then a forged outer. This right here is our VF522 wheel. It's a billet forged center made of 6061 aluminum, and then it's welded into a two-piece barrel. This is a very popular amongst hot rods, but we're getting more and more newer vehicles with it. So what's special about this wheel is we've incorporated some high brake caliper clearance. So now we're able to put on more modern vehicles and not just hot rods. Okay, so now these are flow form. What does that mean? So flow forming is a, is a hybrid form of casting and forging. It's made out of a cast wheel and then it's rotary forged on the barrel to give you the same grain structure as a forged wheel. So it kind of gives you the best of both worlds from cast flexibility with applications and forged monoblock strength. So it's something that we're really excited about with Motegi. You get about 15% weight savings from a standard cast wheel with flow forming. Now these are much bigger wheels. Where are we looking at? So this is our new um, Moto Metal Monoblock line. Much like we were talking about with American Racing, these are one piece forged wheels, but the monoblock truck market has just exploded. And right now we're offering everything from a 20 inch to a 28 inch in some of our uh, brands. The wheel you're seeing right here is a 24 by 14. So this is going on a big, bad lifted truck. More of a show style more than anything. Okay, now you have a multi-piece wheel. Is that the way to say it? It is and it, and it isn't. Um, it is multi-piece, but this is a, a cast wheel, which is what you mostly see on the road. That's 99% of the wheels you're going to see out on the road are cast aluminum. But what makes this one unique is we have a stainless steel insert that uh, is bolted onto the front of the wheel. And what's unique about this is we have 28 different bolts that are plugged in, which gives you eight different directions and eight different styles that you can get from one wheel. Imagine being able to take this off and rotating it section by section, then reversing it and flipping it over. So that's really the, the, the beauty about this wheel. This is a new Moto Metal 989. Next that I want to talk about is the monoblock wheels. So these are specific cut from a forged single piece of, of aluminum. They're vehicle specific. Up top here we have the VF103, which is made for Z06 Corvettes, brand new ones. And then we also have this one for the GT350 Mustang, which is the VN104. So these are all forged, custom made in the USA. From there, we can do different types of finishes, various different cap sizes for clear different hubs, because some of the vehicles have larger hubs, shorter hubs, and we just want to make sure that we have, we have all those applications covered. So you have something for the crossover segment too, right? Correct, yeah. Um, so this is our new MR139, which is a Subaru-specific wheel. Um, we have it in applications from 15-inch for cross treks all the way up to 16 and 17 inch. So what's been really exploding with the Subaru market is more of an off-road look, small lifts and off-road tires, and we're making the correct applications to fit those. All right, there you have it. Fully educated on wheels now. Well, maybe not quite. Mike has some more. Thanks, Tor. As the automotive industry continues to evolve, and of course here at SEMA, where it's all about aftermarket, Asante Wheels is one of those brands that's starting to evolve. Known for fashionable wheels in the marketplace, like Paris Hilton and Snoop Dogg, sporting those kinds of rims on their vehicles, this brand is moving towards performance. Really excited to be here at SEMA this year. We have our Asante Black Label line, which is for luxury vehicles and staggered fitments. We also have our brand new Asante Off-Road lineup, which is super cool. Forged wheels, deep lip for all of your lifted Jeeps and trucks and stuff like that. We also have our performance line, which is for European luxury, Ferrari, Lamborghini, Maserati, where function meets style and can still be good on the track. Everything is built to race specs. And that's kind of what we do here at Asante Wheels, is just put each customer their own specific and style for what fits them the most. Well, it's great to see brands like Asante on the move and evolving their brand more into the performance side of the business. Nick, what do you got over there in Hyundai? So Hyundai have 15 different cars on sale or soon to be on sale in the US. And right now they have five special builds on the floor at SEMA to show the breadth of what they can do. 
Hyundai has such a huge breadth of models on sale in the United States, so when planning a SEMA car, which models would fit best? They chose to do five SEMA cars on different models to show off the possibilities of their brand. Let's start with the big. So this concept of the Hyundai booth probably has the longest name of any concept car ever. It is called the Rockstar Energy Moab Extreme Santa Fe Sport Concept. Designed as a concept able to withstand the ultimate demands of extreme off-roading in Moab, Utah, considered one of the world's most challenging off-road regions. Hyundai partnered with VACA to develop the VACA Tucson Sport Concept for the 2017 SEMA show. This eye-catching concept builds upon the affordable Hyundai performance and style of the Tucson Sport crossover. On the non-SUV side, meet the BTR Edition Elantra Sport concept. The eye-grabbing concept builds upon the affordable and adds methanol injection, intake exhaust and intercooler technology. Now this Bizimoto Ionic doesn't only show off power and speed, it also shows off fuel economy. Hyundai has combined expertise with Bizimoto Engineering to create the Hyperconic Ionic. It integrates the best hypermiling economy and friction technologies to amplify the outstanding Ionic platform beyond original equipment manufacturing limitations for outstanding efficiency gains and excellent durability. Meet the i30N close to series production race car which successfully competed in the 24 hours of Nürburgring in May. It's already a winner and Hyundai hinted that elements of the car may go into production. Now almost every manufacturer has cars on the floor here at SEMA, including Hyundai, but it's not so much about the aftermarket parts as about what the cars will look like in the future. Well, you'll never know who you'll run into here at SEMA. I found Tanner Faust, factory team driver for Volkswagen. Tanner, what, what are you doing here? I, I mean, well, first of all, there's so many shows that go on at SEMA. It's so much more than just like you know, the aftermarket parts center of the world right now. You've got one of the world's largest shows for off-road trucks, which is kind of American specific. You've got race cars, you've got sports cars, and you and then you have just straight up aftermarket stuff. So there's so many cultures all in one place. You're gonna have people that are embedded in those cultures showing up. So it's uh, it really is amazing. I'm here with a couple cars that I built. One of these is this Volkswagen Atlas behind me, a 2018 car. It's new for Volkswagen that we just you know made a little more off-road with the help of Wheel Pro and their KMC line. We've uh, you know given it given it a little bit broader shoulders, but um, there's just so many cool things to see at SEMA. It's really just the center of the car world. All right. So where you been hanging on the floor? Uh, what have you seen that that's uh, attracted your attention here? Well, as a racer, you know, you spend part of your time here um, going and seeing sponsors. Uh, you know, this is my 14th year in a row at SEMA. It's unbelievable. It's hard. I know. I just heard that come out. And I can't even believe that's really the truth. But 14 years, it used to be this is where you did your deals for the next racing year. So you see a lot of racers out here literally shaking hands and trying to break their deals to get them racing the following year. Uh, luckily for our program, most of our deals are multi-year, so it's really just you know, everybody's in the same place at the same time. So I can go see the Odyssey batteries and I can go see the wheel pros and I can, you know, go see the rock stars and Volkswagens of the world and uh, and say hello and, you know, have some good times in Vegas. There you have it, Tanner Faust here at SEMA. We'll have more from the SEMA show presented by NADA Guide. You're watching SEMA on Fox Sports. You're watching SEMA on Fox Sports. Welcome back to Fox Sports coverage at SEMA. Well, for many of you, the first thing you'll customize in your car is your phone charger, right? You'll get one of these USB outlets. But I have some ideas for customizing on a budget and it starts right here. If you're getting the new iPhone or have the right Android, now you can charge your phone wirelessly. This mount is key compliant. How about a dash cam? This one points both ways and records. You can change the look of your interior with seat covers like these that stretch over your existing seats and get floor mats that match. And that's just a few ideas to start your own customizing. Now, if your budget's a little more open-ended, Mike has some ideas to take it to the limit with some extreme customizing. Mike? Tour, I don't even know how to explain what you're about to see. All right, so I sat out on the entire SEMA floor to find the vehicle that I believe is the most extreme customized vehicle. 
Can't tell you what it is, but it's got 50 cows mounted on the front, some massive tires. It's a throwback retro looking airplane type design. I don't know enough about this vehicle to tell you how cool it is. I just know that when I look at it, I can tell you it probably goes anywhere. But this guy over my shoulder, this is Kenny Hawk from the hit TV show Roadhawks. He's going to tell us all about it. All right, my man, what do we got? Right here is what happens when you take a World War II era airplane and mix it with a rock crawling off-road Jeep. Those vintage aircraft have such an incredible look. So we wanted to capture that essence on this build. So we basically replated the entire vehicle with an aluminum body with over 3,600 real aluminum rivets to capture that authentic look. But once we had that, we wanted to go a little bit further. We wanted to actually incorporate real parts from airplanes of that era. So our shifter control handle is a machine gun charging handle out of a B-24. All of our gauges and our yokes and everything are all from vintage aircraft. Beyond that, we incorporated some of the best off-road products in the industry to really create something that's really can go anywhere, can do anything. That was the goal. So we put 44-inch Pitbull tires on it, a rock crawler suspension, turbocharged LS power plant, all the go-fast goodies and incredibly articulating suspension that you need to tackle the toughest trail. It's been all across the country, a lot of air museums in different places, and now we're gonna let it go so we can start making some room for some more projects. Kenny, thank you so much for giving me the tour of your vehicle. Hey, it's my pleasure. All right, guys, if uh, this vehicle's too extreme for you, here's my buddy, Nick. Have you ever wondered how parts are actually developed that end up here at SEMA? Well, a lot of them are developed on the racetrack from race cars. All those parts inside SEMA have been rigorously designed and tested by engineers and manufacturers. But how did the company come up with them? Many times it's right from the racetrack. But it's not just about parts to make you go faster. It's about parts that let you know how you're doing on the racetrack feeding back information to the driver. The Ford Performance demonstrations outside SEMA showed off some of the parts that you can add to your car, all developed with the sharing of information that comes from the racetrack. The nice thing about Ford is with all the different entities that we have, uh, we can take all that knowledge that we gather from our customers, from our racing operations, from our parts operations, and bring it all together and put the best product out there for our consumers. But it's not just about on-road. There is off-road racing part development too. Now here's some cool technology I found in the Wheel Pros booth. This is a open spoke wheel for racing. Now one of the cool things about this is, is when you have a regular wheel, it gets mud and water kind of uh, on the inside and overnight it can compact and get unbalanced. Well with these cool drainage holes, it actually drains it as the wheel moves and therefore your wheel is not unbalanced. Over at BMW Performance, apart from showing off what these cars can do, they develop many of the parts from their knowledge of racing. A lot of our parts are inspired actually by motor racing, so our team in Munich is working directly with the race teams to develop these parts and with BMW M to ensure that the parts meet group standards and are up to spec with what our customers expect. When you go to the dealership and you're specking your M3, your M4, your M2, whatever it is, you can select which M performance parts you want. It's on the window sticker just like any other option. It's fully residualized into your lease or your financing, and we just make it as easy as possible for the customer. Again, it's not about the parts that make your car perform better or go faster on the track, but it's about recording your performance. So here's a perfect example of a part developed from motor racing. It is the TrackFix GoPro map. Put it right into the tow hook of your bumper, sync it with your iDrive, and you can overlay all your track information right onto your video. Some of the performance parts take years to develop and can span careers of racing engineers and developers before they're perfected. Now, next time you're watching a motor race event, also know it could be a testing ground for the latest automotive parts. Well, that wraps up our coverage of SEMA, and SEMA wraps up with the big parade of cars and trucks that ends up at SEMA Ignited, the official SEMA after show party. For Mike Caudill, Nick Miles, I'm Tor Dietrich. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you on the road.